championing the cause of global human rights. We therefore call on the Obama administration to make the bold and creative decision to free the fight. It could mark the flourishing of a mutually beneficial relation and enhance peaceful coexistence. Nigeria Labour Congress condemns the continuous violation of trade union rights in Swaziland. It is unacceptable that the only nation, National Trade Union Centre, the Trade Union Congress of Swaziland, continues to be outlawed by government simply because it is demanding for the enthronement of participatory demo democracy hinged on the multi-party multi democracy. We are in complete agreement that human and trade union rights cannot be fully enjoyed in an environment that is particularly perpetually undemocratic. African trade unions should not tolerate regimes that violate trade union rights. The Nigeria Labour Congress therefore calls on the international labour movement to continue to queue behind the Swazi workers and the people's struggle for genuine democratic changes. In Mali, because of the conditions in the country due to the ongoing conflict, including the close down of schools, the exposure of women and children to all sorts of violence, unemployment among youth, HIV and AIDS and so on, conditions continue to be dire and worsening. The Nigerian government should use both the framework of ECOWAS and AU to evolve humanitarian campaigns in aid of Malian people. Humanitarian crisis is, is piling. There are scores of interna internally displaced persons housed in refugee camps just as the fighting rages. The incident of migration of refugees will yet become a problem to Nigeria and other parts of Africa. In conclusion, comrades, as we commence the process of stock taking of nation building since the amalgamation of the 1914, let us all commit to building a united, just and egalitarian nation. While there are achievements which we can celebrate as a nation, the near 100 years of our collective development have left many development deficits which we must seek to obliterate. Let me end this address by saluting the dedication and resilience of Nigerian workers in the task of nation building over the past 100 years. We salute the past leaders of our movement and their dedication to our nation. We look forward to a future that will be brighter for ourselves and our children and a nation that will be a pride and model to the black race in the future and in the future. As in the past, comrades, we will continue to fight for the unity of the country, its peace and democracy. We want to assure you and entire Nigerians that labor will rise once again to provide the needed leadership for the pursuit of these ideals. Long live Nigerian labor movement. Long live international working class. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live. And I must also add that we wish to commend and thank Mr. President, the President of the Federal Republic, President Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, for honoring us in person in this year's celebration of May Day. Thank you very much.
Thank <laughs> you.